This is going to be a brief video demonstration of a Singer 3115 industrial sewing machine. It has the dual thread holder, the knee lift, accessory drawer, and a industrial motor. It's using a V drive belt. This machine was owned by a designer from Minneapolis, Minnesota and the machine is in phenomenal condition the paint decals are just unbelievably good condition yet and it does have the bl black thread plate needle plate this is going to be a brief video demonstration of my singer 3115 industrial sewing machine this machine typically would have been used by a clothing tailor back in the 1950s. This one was owned by a designer from Minneapolis, Minnesota. The sewing machine head itself is in phenomenal condition. The paint is nice and shiny. All the decals are in place. It's got the black slide plate which indicates it would be around 1950 or earlier accessory drawer, knee lift, and industrial motor. This, is, this machine is all original except for the V-drive belt. It probably had a leather belt on it back in the day. I'll go ahead and start the motor on the machine. This will be uh, three layers of marine vinyl. This is two layers of just a cotton fabric. I'm using a Tech 40 thread. It's a little bit heavier than what you'd buy in a fabric store. It's set for a fairly large stitch right now. Just turn this thumb screw if you want a shorter stitch. Tighten it back down. To lock the stitch on the machine without reverse. Position it in this position. Lift the presser foot and just stitch over the stitches you already made. That locks the stitch. That would be eight layers of cotton fabric. Your uh, bobbin winder is right here. Disengages when the bobbin is full. And that's it.